This story happened to me on my first day of high school. I remember walking down my street in the morning toward the bus stop. There were a few other kids that stood next to me talking. There was also a man who definitely didn't belong at a high school bus stop. He was tall, had a shaved head, a mustache, and a white tank top on. I thought he looked weird and out of place, but I really didn't give it a second thought. My first day of high school actually went fine. It was on the way home where it all went wrong. I got on the school bus, and as I was walking to find my seat, I saw the same man from this morning set on the back of the bus. This time, he was staring right at me. I didn't know then, and I still don't know now, how this guy even got on the bus in the first place. The house I lived in was one of the last stops, so by the time I stopped arrived, most of the kids have gotten off the bus, and the bus was empty. I could just feel that guy staring at me the whole bus ride home, though I didn't dare to look behind me and check. When my stop finally arrived, I got off and I started walking. And of course that creepy man got off and started following me. I started walking faster. And as I did, the man got faster. And that continued right down my street. The faster I walked, the faster he would. It got to the point where I needed to start hey. running. Thankfully, my house was close by. I ran by my house and slammed the door shut. And I looked through the kitchen window to see if the man was still chasing me. He was walking past my house like nothing ever happened while staring at me. Later that night, I was upstairs in my bedroom when someone knocked at the door, the downstairs door. The next thing I heard was my mom calling me downstairs. When I get there, my mom is looking confused and checking around outside. I say to her, yeah, mom? She said, that's weird. There was a man just here asking to speak to you. I asked what he looked like, and she described the same man who chased me home earlier that day. I told my mom about what happened and how I was pretty sure it was the same guy who knocked at the door. My mother told the police and our school. And actually, this wasn't the first time they have heard reports of this. From what I know, he was never caught. Who knows what he could be doing right now? Just be careful. <laughs>